Hey, Hyundai on day, son. Hyundai on Let's day, see, got a pretty puppy joining us. <laughs> oh, um, okay. So let's see. Uh, so far for our, our mentors, we have Grandma D and Miss Marion. And then for our learners, we have myself and uh, Kathy and Sarah and Courtney. And then we also have Chelsea joining us. Um, I think Cricket was planning on joining and so was Ramon. Um, so I'm sure they'll jump on when they can. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with a um, opening prayer. Um, Miss Marion, if you're able to, Bay.Sai, could you open our session with the prayer, please? Hey, doll, we can drink real quick. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, stop story, I doll. Oh, they talk Oh, they can. Oh, they talk And keep on talking. Oh, they can. Get on my way. Get on my way. My old day. Ain't so it's hot. Go and get going, boy. Go take go, baby. Ain't it key? Boy, son, dog, go get eight more hammer. Go don't get eight more hammer. Go, go home and get oi. I get so bad more hang. They, they go the whole day. They home. Yeah. Get out here. They want to get out here. They don't tag it. I come. Dog. 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 E. Dog. 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 Hello, Yan Yan Tongya, the Taito. Go and get going, boy. Go take go. Hey, dog. Don't call on time. Ain't the key. Boy, sign on. Go. Go and Tongya, eight more hammer. Hey, go. Go and Tongya. Go. Go and Hawan Gia. Oi. I get so. But my hand, boy, but boy, it is wrong. Boy, don't get up, get peak, get up. And how they keep, they are going to go. Hey, they are quite good, my hand, my hand, get down. They, they go, God. Dot hode. And a kahin dog. Da on the tongue. Dog e the moik e a dog. They hone a yan high get dog. Dot side fail though. They hone they get tag on the dog. Go a google. They key. Giggle dog. Dot high dog. I'm failing. They hunt. They get tired. On the top, he go and go on the top. The dark side failing. And he go on the top. Dark e. I hold it. You know. Oba. Aho. Oh. Thank you for that, Miss Marion. <clears throat> You're welcome. <clears throat> uh -huh. 
All right. Um, let's see here. So I think um, one of the big things um, that uh, we've been doing is kind of practicing our grammar, our Kiowa grammar. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, I did just want to uh, see if uh, the teachers that are on here um, that are going to be teaching at the, uh, there's a Kiowa language uh, summer day camp happening this week. And so just wanted to see if, uh, if anyone would like to hear some updates uh, from a couple of us. I think it's just me and Courtney so far. Um, Oh, oh. So. okay um yeah. let's see oh you guys were setting up camp today was that the summer camp for language oh yeah today oh. we had our little like walk through where we got to go like around and see all the little stations and kind of you know figure out the logistics of where it's all set up so that was a lot of fun um i was gonna see if i can pull up the little flyer i know some of you have probably seen it um on Facebook if you have Facebook but not everyone does so let me I can share my screen with a little flyer real quick so you can see what that looks like if I can even find it on my computer uh, where is it I think it's right here hey thaw let me pull it up okay now let me share my screen And that way you can look at the flyer while we're giving you some updates. Okay. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll start with what I'm working on. Well, actually it's me and Dane. So me and Dane are teaching uh, Kiowa Sign Language as our session. So this is Goitongya Sanda, uh, Summer Day Camp. And this is part of the Native Voices Rising um, grant. Uh, I know we talked about this way back in last de in December. We did our virtual outreach. And so this is the in-person outreach. And we decided to uh, focus on youth. Um, so it's basically ages um, 8 to 16 years old. Uh, we do have some kids that are younger, like 7 and younger. That have registered because they have older siblings going and then they we also have uh volunteers some youth between the ages of 17 and 24 who are who have signed up to volunteer so um pretty exciting um so it's going to be this friday june 7th uh from 10 a.m to 2 p.m is the activities um registration will open at 9 a.m and we're gonna have, so you can see on the screen, let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger here. So we're gonna do uh, teepee raising. We're gonna do Kiowa storytelling, Kiowa traditional art, archery tag, Kiowa sign language and Kiowa games. And so um, we had uh, quite a few kids register. I think it was around a hundred and, um, what was it? A hundred and, 11 or something like that that registered oh. so, um so basically that means that uh we're gonna have three uh three breakout sessions and so we split the the kids into three groups or actually four groups but one group will be the little the little kids the seven years old and under and they're gonna kind of uh, be with their parents and guardian they're gonna have some uh, teachers that will be working with them um, the whole day. So they won't be moving around. They'll just be kind of staying in one location, doing some fun activities in Kiowa. Um, and we have Miss uh, Judy Hunter, one of our uh, teachers, and then um, Hajona, my daughter, uh, Hajona Post. So they're teaching the seven and younger kids. And then we have three uh, groups. And so the one that Dane and I are teaching is the Kiowa Sign Language group. And um, we split the kids into three groups. There's about maybe around 30 kids in each group. And we tried to differentiate it by age group. So 
there's um kind of an eight to 10 year old group there's a 11 to 12 year old group and then a uh 14 to 16 year old group and so they'll be rotating and they'll get to go to three different uh, breakout sessions throughout the day in addition to everyone's going to get to do the teepee raising and also taking down the teepee at the end um so for uh, Kiowa Sign Language, um, our session will focus on um, some introduction to uh, Plains Indian Sign Language and the Kiowa Sign Language Dialect or Kiowa Hand Talk. And we have some videos we're gonna show. We have um, some resources, some books, and obviously getting the kids to actually practice the signs and to learn the Kiowa words that go with the signs. Um, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. We're really excited about it, looking forward to it. And basically the kids will um, rotate into three, uh, about 45 minute sessions. And so after about 35 minutes or so, we'll wrap up one session and then they'll transition and walk over to their next session. And um, it's gonna be held in Carnegie at the Kiowa Complex. So we'll be in, um, mainly they'll be in Red Buffalo Hall, but they'll also be up at the Kiowa Community Building um, that's where like the outside, the games and stuff will be as well. Um, so that's what I know about what I'm doing. Um, uh, let's see, Bobby, do you want to talk about what you're doing? Uh, okay. Um, I will be doing, um, I kind of showed it last week. Orshan and the they'll be making the kids will be making um par flesh Orshan necklaces. Can you see me on the screen? Let me let me spotlight you. Hold on, let me. Okay, I this is checking. the this is what it'll look like. Um, and then they'll get to decorate their own and then it'll be a necklace so uh <laughs> Allison and I just finished doing some uh if you could see my table <laughs> that is oh. uh, all almost well we're getting them prepped so 120 and we will have uh, markers and stuff so that all of the participants get to have their own uh, little old Sean doll, their uh, parflesh bag uh, to hang from their necklace or around their neck is kind of how we have it. And they'll learn different, some of the different shapes and colors to go with it. So that's my uh, mine and Alisan's activity and 35 minutes is not a lot of time so I feel like I'm doing a bunch of prep than what I normally would but th that's uh, that's it I think it, I'm looking forward to it it's going to be fun it'll be really good for the for awesome. all the all the kids all the, the the families that are able to be there Oh, looking forward uh, to that. Uh, I, have a, I have a comment. I was, are they making uh, little bags, little pouches? Are they making small pouches? Um, it's well, because did, I was just going to say, I know. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can uh, spotlight Courtney again. Courtney, can you hold it up again? Hold on. Let me. Hey, though, let me spotlight Courtney so you can see her her camera. Okay. This is kind of. This is a finished one, but it's um. This one's more of like an ornament, and these are going to be um put on a longer string for them because this is supposed to be like a um sorry my tv 
this is supposed to be like a Christmas ornament that we put on the tree, but we're kind of changing it up for this activity so they can wear it whenever they finish it. So this is... Okay. It's a, so it's like a little small pouch. And uh, the other word for uh, like the small bags is uh, meme koi. Meme koi. Meme koi shan. Ha. I, I just, think we, uh, I just thought I. Oh, oh, being, being koi, Sean. Being koi. Being koi. Being koi. Being koi. It sounds like B E E M. Oh, B E M. Like M, like in. Beam. Like in Mary. Beam. Beam koi. Beam, beam koi. And some. And yeah, beam koi. It's that's that beam koi. It's another word for like a pouch, small pouch. Or I mean, that can it be like a purse? That word. But if you say Sean, it means small, of course. Oh. Being koi Sean. Being koi Sean. Yes, that I add. Miss Marion, mm. Monday is mm. um, Monday. It, put in the chat. Uh, so this is the, the translate or the word from, where was it? The glossary? Um, it's for a rawhide box is the, I guess, the translation. But it says, uh, how, how is it? We practiced it last week, Courtney. Um, ol, ol well, that, the other word, too, is like, uh, you know, we say suitcase, you say your old, old, old coy or whatever. I mean, it's like a bag, something you carry. Well, you know what Odo means when people say, my Odo pint means tie up your belongings. You tie up it. It's just something to carry in like a suitcase. And beam koi is another word for, you know, small bag or well, bag or purse or mm -hmm. whatever. Huh. And sometimes you'll see where the non-Indians will spell bean coin, B-I-M, K-O, K -O. but it's pronounced bean coin. Now you can ask Dolores if you want. She might have something to say. Let's start me. I hope, I like that. I will make sure to, um, to include that in there when we talk about it at the beginning. Beam koi shan. Ha so ha? Beam koi shan. And if you're going to wear it as a necklace, of course, that's a gold pun. <laughs> necklace. That's, uh, that's uh, another way, too, since you're going to wear it. Some people might just wear it. Mm -hmm. And oi, doi. Courtney, which one? Oh, uh, necklace. Miss Marion, can you repeat that? So word. I got food in here. Some popcorn. Uh, old pan. Old, like it sounds. Ah, uh, I don't know how you spell it. Like old for it. your neck. Old. Like, old. Yes. Old. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Oodle, Oodle. Pun? And then pun. Pun. Oh, 
tie, like you're tying something, tie, tie, but it means necklace tie. Yeah, you know, it means neck, something tied around your neck. That's what a necklace is. Oh, oh tie. P P I H N nasal in tie. Or you could say P I N E pine. It almost sounds like pine, but it's nasal. Pine. Like all is pie. your neck and pine is is too tall. Oh, so you go be like a oh pie is a necklace. But it could also be a necktie. I mean that word could be used for necktie. <laughs> oh. Oh, awesome. Is that the uh correct uh uh Oh, goop, come on. Is that the correct spelling that Courtney put in the chat? For Odal, huh? Yes, that's good. Uh -ho. Oh. That's awesome. Those are some good vocabulary that you could include in your uh in your session, Courtney. Oh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna write in the um Beam Koi, the what was um to check for spelling on this one. Okay. Did so you be able to repeat that phrase that phrase of uh, Beam Key? <laughs> Which Koi, one? Oh, or for uh, bag, bag or little bag? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Uh, what was it? Beam, beam koi. Beam koi shan for little, right? Is that the one? Yes, that was it. Beam koi, beam koi shan. Can, uh, can we get our mentors to say that for us? We can hear. Uh, Miss Marion, do you want to repeat it? We'll start with you, and then we'll go to uh, Grandma D. Um, beam Koi Shan. Aho. Beam Shan. Aho. Beam Koi Shan. Uh, Grandma D. Beam Koi Shan. Aho. Uh, uh, oh, Martha. Now I know where to spell El Hungui. My El El my El Hungya. <laughs> Beam Koi Shan. Beam Koi Shan. Aho. Beam Koi Shan. Beam Koi Shan. This word could also uh, be used when you're talking about a wallet or a purse, handbag or billfold, any of that. That could mean have that meaning. That sound. Is a sign that says. And the one for necklace. Uh, koi or kodal uh, pine. Oh, kodal pine. Um, let's do oh, that one. Pain. Uh, we'll start with Miss Marion again, and then go to Grandma D, and then Grandma Martha. Miss Marion, can you repeat? Uh, say necklace for us again. Um, kodal pine. Kodal pine. Aho, Grandma D. Necklace. Oh, uh. Aho. 
are less than days, five months away, so prime time is keeping an eye on the battleground. This week, an election was. Grandma Martha? Okay. Oh, pun. Oh, pun. Oh, pun. Oh, pun. But there are dozens of addresses on the state's voter rolls that are actually commercial buildings where nobody lives. Places like strip clubs, casinos. Ah, ho. Awesome. Any other uh, pronunciation for your session, Courtney? Honey, I think um, I put those in the chat. Uh, I think the Kotopa Bame Koishan, those are in the chat, um, hopefully. Oh, got to oh. make note of that. Awesome. Love it. So uh, I know we just had um, a couple people join us. Um, we were just uh, giving some little updates on what the Kiowa language teachers are going to be working on for the Kiowa language camp. And so I gave my update for me and Dane and then Courtney just finished her update for her session. Um, and we talked a little bit about the overview of the camp, but uh, Ma, would you like to give a little update about what you're doing for your session? And I can share the screen again, unless you wanna share your screen with something. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Let's see. We, I, I sent, I don't know if I got it out, but anyway, we um, went to the camp. I mean, we did our walkthrough. All of us went and did our walkthrough and um, I got a, there it is, a, um, like the schedule out. So, <clears throat> um, of, of what we're going to be doing. And it sounds like, I think we're going to have a lot a lot of stuff going on and it's Friday, June 7th. Um, and hopefully people have already registered and, um, it's seven years to 17 or eight years to 17 and divide those into, you know, three different groups. And then we have little guys and Judy is going to be working with the little guys. Um, but the parents have to be there for those guys from two to seven um, as their age group. And um, we're going to have different stations. We're going to have a TP raising. Um, Judy's going to do games with the little guys and also in for registration and uh, during, you know, uh, registration. Um, I think we're going to have hot dogs for lunch. And then our three breakout sessions will have uh, Courtney is going to do the par flesh, which is what she was uh, uh, talking about. And um, Melody and Dane are going to do um, sign language. And Ramon and I are going to do um, different games. So uh, the games that we'll be doing is Carolyn will be helping with um, Song Auto and uh, the Kiowa. I don't know, life or monopoly game or however, however you want to call it. And then um, it's all auto, that's what it is. And um, then Ramon's going to do an arrow throwing. I have a couple games, the girls ball game and the hoop hoop game for the boys. And then um, then the we also have archery tag that um, that's supposed to be there. So and that's just something fun to do, but uh, not really a Kiowa thing, just something fun. But uh, anyway, but it gets them used to um, uh, shooting an arrow. And so you actually have to shoot an arrow, get the bow and get the arrow and shoot it. And it has a big ball on it. And uh, it's it's fun. But um, and so I think that's what our camp's going to be for. I think we have over 100 kids signed up for it and we have uh, uh, a lot of you guys that are on here that are going to be helping 
all the Kiowa language staff and um and then the Kiowa group from OU um are are volunteering and Chelsea's got a lot of volunteers um and I think uh, a lot of volunteers coming from Anadarko so anyway that's pretty much it there any if you guys want to add to it <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, we kind of covered a little overview, but uh, we just wanted to see if any of the teachers had any thing that they any updates to share. So, uh -huh. any questions from anyone? I think that's our our overview. I can share the thing that uh, I finished that. Um, what is it called? The the schedule. If you want me to share that. You want to see it, or just or not right now? Ha! Huh, if you want to share your screen, I think you're muted. Okay, it wouldn't let me unmute. Okay. All right, let me let me find it in here. Let's see, Monday. We pull it up first. And then oh. language schedule. So that way you guys can kind of see. Um okay. Okay. So can y'all see it? Oh. Okay. So you can see kind of like the timeline schedule and who's going to be leading those different things in the different areas. But Linda, we made a big, huge um, 11 by 14 poster that we'll put at each of the sites. And then um, here's um, the different colors of charts. Um, the orange group is going to be, I guess I could have put that, by, but I put it down here. But the orange group will be staying the full time with their parents and Judy at KCC, which is down in the volunteer chart. Um, but uh, so this is the chart, the rotation chart. I guess I should put rotation on there session rotation chart. And um, then uh, here's our volunteers chart. So the different um, people that will be helping and the different areas. So, and then we're gonna make little copies individual copies. So we have four big ones and then we'll make little individual copies. Awesome. Um, I didn't see my name on there or Alice Dan. Dane, right there. Dan, sign language, Dane and Melody. Oh. Okay, cool. So this is like um, Parflesh, Courtney and Alice Ann. Games, Ramon Cricket, Sign Language, Dana Melody. And then you're also at the top up here, wherever that is. Maybe it's not up here. Dang. Yeah, no. And up there. You're down here. Awesome. So anyway, that's um, that's that, and we're gonna make 
I'm going to go back and make book booklets because I didn't get to it today. So I'll make booklets for tomorrow and then make smaller, smaller ones of these that everybody can carry like little in little kind of booklets, I guess you might say for this. And Cricket, I'll uh, email you the uh, the language that Dane and I came up with for our session. Oh yeah, we need that for the booklet. <laughs> oh yeah, I just uh, confirmed everything with Dane right before this started. So okay, I'll, All right. uh, I'll and email. An image? Did you already? Did you send Linda the, an, an image to put on there, like signing talk or something? We need a picture. I thought Dane was doing that, but uh, I can find something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll follow up with Linda. Okay. All right. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the booklets together. So, um, tomorrow. Awesome. I think. That's any other things that you can think of that we need? It's going to be exciting. Who are the booklets going to? Which booklets? Because For tomorrow. Okay, so we have um, booklets of each of the sites. So that's going to go to everybody. And then I'm going to make a like a the schedule into like a little booklet for all the volunteers and, and uh, workers. Oh, okay. So there's two, there'll be two booklets. Booklets for the attendees and then this schedule little booklet for um, uh, the um, workers. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they need this too? Like everybody needs a schedule? You think the kids need it? Because on here, it's just that the kids are staying with their um, their volunteers that have the, the chaperones that have the same color wristband they do. I don't mm -hmm. think so. If the volunteer chaperones know where they're going, then they're responsible for getting yeah. their care. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. You had a lot of work done today. <laughs> a lot of work, yeah. It's going awesome though. It's gonna be gonna be fun. And um uh, Linda counted all the t shirts, got everybody's to, oh something that would be neat to do is um is uh like maybe have the name tags you know already filled out like with the kids name so when they come and check in at registration we just pull off their name tag and they could stick it on and that way we have the the kids name oh that's a good idea um i think linda mentioned that when we were up at the uh, KCC. So we would have to just, I guess, just buy those little sticky, little white name tag things. Yeah, you could probably either um, handwrite it or you could probably print it off too. Oh yeah, that's a good, because she already has that list. Yeah. It is, yeah. Okay. Save some time. Okay. <laughs> and we'll some handwriting. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll look at that tomorrow because everything has to be done tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Awesome. That's it. Kelsey, are you there? Do you have anything to add? I think she's uh listening in today. Okay. All right. She has Miss Libby with her. I'm working. I'm I'm still sending emails to other things I haven't got to today and I'm trying to work on this a letter and I'm still looking for letterhead so I'm just I, I I got a lot going on I'm listening you know I'm just I'm here but um yeah I'm I did zone out the last few minutes I will say that but yes it's coming long it's gonna be great 
And I'm going back on mute. I'm going to finish this email. <laughs> okay. Aho. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, let's see. Uh, are there any other questions from anyone about the Taiwan language camp? We can try to answer them. Okay. Um, all right. So we have about 30 minutes um, to practice. So what, let's see, we, we've been working on the noun, pronoun, verbs, the Kiowa grammar, um, would you all want to work on that a little bit? Or what would you like to practice tonight? <laughs> I know I can always use practice on the nouns, pronoun, verbs, but don't want to bore you if that's not what you want to do. <laughs> OK, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can find the file we were working on. Uh, figure out which folder it was in. Okay. Let's look. Okay. Are we going to be study stack oh. or are we doing uh, the other one? Um. Well, let's see. We were looking at the PowerPoint. Did Do you want to practice the PowerPoint or study stack? Yeah, that's fine. The PowerPoint? Okay. Oh. I think uh, when we were doing the PowerPoint, it was uh, kind of helping us, uh, you know, get it, try to remember. <laughs> Um, okay, let me, I found, I think I have the right one. Let me share my screen. Oh, whoops, I forgot to press uh, the sound. Let me make sure I share the sound too. So we can hear the little audio if we need to. Okay. All right, tell me if you can see this. Awesome. Okay, so I think we were still practicing level one, right? We were trying to do like a refresher. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think we did part one. We did the very first one. Okay, remind me what what slide? I don't remember what we did last week. I think it was the very first. It wasn't in English. Um, it was the very first one. How did we do that? I can't remember how we did it. I know. I don't remember either. I guessing what it was. I can't remember. It was this one, right? I think so. Yeah. But how did we do it? Because it, it was making me think. Yeah, because I thought we were. Uh... Was it the English version that we were doing? Because I feel like we were um like trying. We were oh, trying yeah. to get the. Okay. The, which Kiowa verb it is. Or okay. what pronoun. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Let me okay, so here's the English right. English. We were doing singular, right? We did or we yes. did singular and we were gonna move to the next one. So we're doing to na we were going to name. And oh, to, uh, to dual. <laughs> okay, dual. So a ha de 
key we're doing dual uh -huh. two two items so two shoes two flowers two dogs okay um okay so we're starting is it big enough to, can everyone see this okay do i need to make it uh bigger i can see it you can probably zoom in just a little try not to mess it up where i skip okay uh so right here three-part sentence shoe give two to me. Does anyone want to try to translate this into Kiowa or say it in Kiowa first before we listen to the recording? So, Tode, and then give is ah, uh, uh, uh. um, and then is then it two. a? Or name. No day name ah. Okay. No day name ah is one option. Any other? Anyone have another option? I honestly don't remember, so I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> I really need to do uh Gutohi Tali Ramon's strategy. Um, I loved what he shared with us with uh, his study strategy of um, writing it all down in Kiowa over and over. Like I, I thought that was very smart, mm -hmm. and then saying it. So I really need to sit down and invest some time to do it because I think that's going to help. But until then, <laughs> I will learn Kiowa pronouns. I will learn Kiowa. <laughs> <laughs> write it a hundred times <laughs> okay any other uh anyone else on the so we have so day nain on as an option ready to listen to it see if we're right so day nain on ah so nay <laughs> Do de ne on. Ne on. Do de ne on. So, and then we were we practicing it, like going over and saying it? Yeah, I think uh, the elders would say it for us. Okay, so let me see who I see first on screen. Um, Let's go in kind of the order we were going in earlier. So, Miss Marion, then Grandma D, then Grandma Martha. So, Miss Marion, would you be able to give us the pronunciation here? So you say do do de ne o. Oh. Or you say or give or shoe give to me. Is that what you're saying? Or give me two pair of shoes. Oh. Two two shoes to me. Ne o. Let Martha say it. I'm saying ye do de ne all I'm saying. Well, that could work too, right? <laughs> Are you saying do de ne all give give me the give me the shoes. Give the shoes to Aho. Awesome. Uh, Grandma D. Oh, I think you're muted unless you had to step away. So did I all. Uh -huh. And Grandma Martha? So they may all. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So they may all. 
Partly. Do they may off. And uh, Aunt Carolyn. Do they may on. Oh, um, think they may. Do they may on. Oh, uh, top home, Kathy. Oh, they may all. Oh, and Chelsea, I think you said you are on listen only, so let us know in the chat if you want to play along. Oh, they may. Uh, oh, they may I, I did. I, I just caught that just now. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got it though. You got it right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So that's the first one. So we're going to go over staying with this same noun. So we're going to go over here to this next column and kind of go down this, this uh, list under possessive mental sentence. So we're going to start with shoe my two are. Okay. So let's see here. <laughs> possessive. And there's two of them. So so day. And R is what it is, da. Um, so, what's the pronoun? <laughs> so they. I'm gonna keep saying name until I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> one of them. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I think it's nay too. I don't know. So let's see. So you say it might be so de ne da. Ne da. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's our guesses. Any other guesses? Or maybe you know it. Okay. Let's play it. Do de ne da. Hey. You got it right. <laughs> do de ne da. All right. So let's. Have our mentors say it for us as well. So, Miss Marianne, we'll start with you. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Do they may And uh, he hope Jim. Do they may all. I think uh -huh. we're doing da that it, it is. Oh it's, yeah, it is. Yeah. Or they yeah. are. <clears throat> yeah, they are my two shoes. All right. Uh -huh. Um oh go go on. Um do they need uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they need da. Uh, da be. So they need da. Oh. And Carolyn? So they need da. Oh. So they need da. Oh. So they need off. Oh, okay. So they need off. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Chelsea. Uh -huh. Awesome. All right. Uh, so that was uh my two R. So let's do your two R. So shoe your two R. Um. We just did Nada, so name is my. So they any in name, so I think it might be name for your da or. What was that, Kathy? Da. Oh, oh. Well, 
a, a hashtag. That's your verb. That's your verb. But you don't you have to have a pronoun? Isn't there? I think that's a pronoun. Oh, right? name names like you guys were N-A-N. saying name. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So we have Thode Nain Da as the as an option. Our mentors are probably laughing if it's wrong. <laughs> uh, not, not our name. <laughs> Any other guesses before I hit play? Okay, here we go. Oh, they named all. Hey! Ding, 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 ding! I need one of those, like, bells. <laughs> oh, they named all. <laughs> okay, so my is nay, your is nain. Okay, so let's go to our mentors to so we can hear it some more. Uh, Miss Marion. And then, uh, oh, whoops, press the button. Um, aho, uh, piho, gima. Do de nindo. Aho. Um, let's see. Ogu, ogu, koma. Do de nindo. Do de nindo. Aho. Uh-huh. Okay, our turn. So they named all. Um, uh, Dabi. So they named all. What's this one for? Um, did I come off mute? Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. Oh, uh, I was just uh, trying to remember who goes next. I think it's Aunt Carolyn. So they name doll. Ah ho. So they name doll. So they name doll. Ah ho. And Carlo, if you want to play along. Hey, 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 good evening. Hey, can you hear me? Ha, oh, yes, we can. Okay, hey, oh, uh, yeah, I, was, uh, I got, I have uh, services on Wednesday nights, but uh, Angle, uh, just glad I could, I could uh, hop in t- tonight's session and for a little portion of what's left, but, you know, so I always want to keep Dalkey, you know, part of my spiritual life, so, uh, uh, our phrase is a do de name doll. Ha, oh, and it's this one that's highlighted. It means shoe your two R. So we're practicing pronouncing the Kiowa grammar, the noun pronouns verbs uh, for this is for level one credentialing. Um, and so this is the uh, possessive mental, the type of noun is the default noun. And the sentence is ha, oh, what you just said. So you want to just jump in, then you'll be after um, Kathy in the lineup. Oh, welcome. Well, a- after Chelsea, isn't it? Oh, was it? Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped Chelsea. Sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> after Chelsea. Okay. Uh, so Chelsea, then Carlo, but go ahead, uh, Chelsea. Go. Oh, they named all. Oh. Okay. So that was your. So let's go to his, her. Okay. Any, anyone remember this? I know I no. don't. <laughs> Is it no? N A U. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Paul, I think it is my small, and yours is um. 
Right. And this is a his or her. Oh, oh okay. Cricket, do you still think it's no? I don't know. I'm just throwing one out there. <laughs> not so they oh. not. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't one of these yeah? Anyway. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. I haven't. I don't remember. It's but it's been a minute. I should probably do more studying. Something daw. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think something daw. Something <laughs> daw. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh. Um. What is it? I think Carolyn and um. And top was Topoma. Is that you saying? Uh, uh y'all were pretty good at the pronouns. I am. So what do y'all think? I want to say all, maybe on, on. Oh, that like oh, on. Oh, on, I, on. I, um, I I that's right. That sounds familiar. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> and Carolyn, uh, do you have dog. a? Do you know what it is? <laughs> okay, so we have some guesses. All right. The English, yeah, the English. Shoe his her to our. The E N sound isn't that a N. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, I bet you'll say, oh, I'll tell me. I'll say, oh, yeah, good. No <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see who's right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Do de endo. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Do de endo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we know who to go to. Who's that? Yeah, who I know. <laughs> good. All right. Awesome. Okay, so now let's hear it one more time. We're gonna have our mentor say it for us. Do de endo. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. Uh, Miss Marion. Do de endo. Do de endo. Ah, cool. Grandma D. Do de endo. Ah, cool. Grandma Martha. Go the end down. Go the end down. Aho. All right, our turn. Go the end down. Uh, who was after me? Oh, Bobby. Go the end down. Aunt Carolyn? Do de ain da. Ah ho. Um, who was after Hank Dema? Mm, right. Okay. Do de ain da. Ah ho. Do de ain da. Ah ho. Do de ain da. Aho. And Carlo. Do they ain't doll. Oh, aho. All right. We're almost. Let's see. We have two more columns. Let me see if I can move my little picture out of the way. Okay. So now we're here in the uh, third column, the two part sentence. So, um, I wonder if I can make this smaller. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to say shoe two I saw. Shoe two I saw. So your noun is still sode, and your verb is anyone? What's our verb? Bon. Is that what you're saying? Bon. Oh. Okay, so now we're saying. Oh, oh, oh. Shoe two, I saw. Okay, you said uh, 
啊，好。Do they? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, cricket. Uh, Sarah's or was uh listening in uh with Kathy. Is that right, Kathy? Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, you have. You're right. I just spilled baby food. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, it's okay. Right. Okay, so I think uh this is where you use that yeah. But I don't know if we use it in the two part. Uh, in one of the one of these three. So they I saw, I saw two I think isn't it yeah and then ah uh, and Maybe it's can I, yeah. can I cheat? I'm looking at this book and it says I oh. took <laughs> can I cheat? I'm not cheating. You did it without cheating. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You guys can do it without cheating. I'm behind, so I'm gonna look at the book. Okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We're trying really I'm trying very hard not to look at my <laughs> cheat sheet. Um but okay, so we have yeah, we have ah as possibilities. Uh, everyone, I changed other... my mind on that. I I do not think it's ah. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. Mm -mm. So, that can't be it. Yeah, I I'm gonna go with you, Melody. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I go with yeah. So they yeah bon, but okay, we're gonna, gonna... hear it. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say that. I know, I know it sounds like I'm lying, but I swear, and it's only because I cheated. But y'all said don't cheat. Okay, name. Oh, darn it. Okay. Uh, okay, that's okay. So, so let's see. There was a pattern though, because name yeah. was the possessive. Oh. Name, main, main. <clears throat> And those are all the patterns for two, to the main, main, and ain. I to them too. I to them too. I think it's main. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Do they name bone? Do they name bone? Yeah, be very careful. Okay. So we're gonna have our mentors say okay. it. So uh we'll go to where'd she go? Did she leave? Miss Marion? I don't see her. Sometimes her, her thing kicks her out. Her not see her either. She'll probably get back on. Okay, I'll watch for her. Um Grandma D. And Bo. Uh -huh. And Grandma Martha. So they named Bo. So they named Bo. Ah ho. All right. Get ready. Uh -huh. So they named Bo. So they named Bo. Uh, Aunt Carolyn. So they named Bo. So they named so they name bone. So they name bone. So they name bone. And let's see who was after Kathy. Oh, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, if you want to. So they name bone. Oh, and Carla. So they name bone. Ah uh ho! All right. Okay. Now I'm I'm gonna remember what uh Courtney said <laughs> and try to see if that's accurate for this next one. Uh, so the next sentence is shoe two you saw. So we have do they and bon as our noun and verb, and Anyone know what the you is? What's the pronoun?
Somebody else guess because I've only gotten one right so far. <laughs> That's better than me. <laughs> I'm going to guess Maine. Oh, I like that. Okay. So, so do you. Oh. Oh. That sounds right. <laughs> Maine. Okay. Kathy agrees. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we got it. Do de main bon. Ha. Yes, I guess. Do de main bon. Do de main bon. Okay. Uh, let's have our mentors say it for us. So let's see. I think Miss Marion is out. Oh, I know it's late over there. Uh, Grandma D. Do de main bon. <clears throat> Oh, Grandma Martha. Do de main bon. Ah ho, ah co. Do de main bon. Uh, who was after me? Oh, da b, me. Muted. So they main bone. So they main bone. So they main bone. Oh, wait. So they main bone. So they main bone. So they main bone. Oh. And uh, Carlo? So they main bone. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we can probably finish this last one right here. Or actually, let's see if we can finish the last two because there's only two left and I think they're pretty easy. Oh. Because um, I know we're at time right now. So, um, okay. Uh, shoe two, she, he, saw. Anyone know the pronoun? What's the sentence? So they something bone. Mm. I don't know how I go. I'm going to guess so they ain't bone. Okay. Uh -huh. and so E in ha. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Yes. I'll go with you. <laughs> I don't know. This test is hard. <laughs> oh. Any other? Should I play it? Yeah. All right. Let's play it. So they ain't born. Okay. Hold on. I'll play it again. So they ain't born. Is it A or A? Sounds like so they ain't bone. Ain't, ain't bone. Sounds nasalized. E yeah. N. Let me okay. cheat and look at the Kiowa. Hold on, hey fellow. Okay. Where's our Kiowa pronoun? Oh my gosh. So, oh, over here. Uh, it's nasal. Wait, no. No, that's not it. Is it? No, that's not it. Is it? Oh, um, it's ain. What yeah, is that? Oh, bank. Oh, it is. is it's like So they ain't bone. So they ain't bone. So they have name, main, and then ain. Yeah, which I think is what uh, Courtney and uh, and Carolyn said. So <laughs> there it is. Good, good pattern. Patterns. Okay. Is it? Is it nasalized? That's accurate, right? That's correct. Okay. Okay, let me go back to slide. Boom. Now I now I lost it. Hold on. Was it up or down? Uh how you I go? I thought it was with the E N with a little apostrophe above the E. Yeah. E. Oh, this one right here. What? Okay, we move this. Uh shoe. Right there. She, she saw. Down. Yeah. Okay. Find the English 
version of it. Uh, oh, I went too far. Sorry. I need to memorize these slides. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Shu, shu, she, he, saw. So this is the one right here. Oh. Okay, so we said it is so they ain't bon. So they ain't bon. So they ain't, ain't bon. Ain't, ain't. Okay. So All they right, ain't. let's go to our mentors. Uh, so Grandma D. So they ain't bon. So they ain't bon. Ms. Pula? No, oh, they ain't bone. No, oh, they ain't bone. Okay. All right. Okay. It's your turn, Melody. Sorry, my daughter is asking a question. Um, they're cooking dinner. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, oh, they ain't bone. No, oh, they ain't bone. So they ain't bone. So they ain't bone. So they ain't bone. Uh, let's see who was after Kathy. Uh, Chelsea. Oh, she might have had to step away. Um, Carlo? Throw they ain't bone. Throw they ain't bone. Oh, ho. Ain't bone. Ain't bone. Those nasals, they'll, they'll get you. So I've, I, I have that. to usually say it like a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes our mentors will do that. Like we, they will make us say it a hundred times. So <laughs> that's okay. That's what. That's why we're here. So oh. it's good. Th oh. They'll let us know how the how our pronunciation is. Oh. Okay. Shoes okay. Two. Last one, guys. Um. So they sentence. <laughs> and it is still the default noun, and the English is shoe to are. Do they something da? Not da. Wouldn't it just be like, do they ye? Ye do they da? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with what's, what was Marion said earlier. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, we didn't have numbers. In. We didn't have them. And it, there was a pattern where something was like, which one was my shoe? My arm. Nada. Yeah. There was something, something, but there was a pattern where you say my to your possessive is the same pronoun as uh the two shoes are. So my possessive shoes, I think. So see if it's um thode, thode, nada. Okay, so we have a, a a couple options here. Let's play it and see. Throw the in door. Ah, darn it. Throw the in door. Oh, this is the A with E N with no nasal. Throw the in door. In. Throw the in door. Oh yeah. Throw the in door. Oh, I thought there was some weird pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think that's a different type of noun, Cricket. I think it's one that you're thinking on one of the other noun types that has that pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember what, what you're saying um, vaguely. <laughs> so, Do we see that in the Kiowa, written in Kiowa? Uh, okay, let's see. Someone remember we're on slide 10 because I'm probably going to forget. So let's go. Let's see. Where was it? Uh. 
That's one of these first I'm slides. looking back on my sheet and it's choose day two, right? Uh -huh. Do uh do day. Oh. E N with the N silent. It, oh, you know? so nasalized. Nasal. Nasal N. Sounded yeah. like he was saying oh. it that. Let's okay. ask our mentors. Uh Kima. Ogukoma. Can you correct this or let us know if it's correct? Marta. What? I think that's <laughs> supposed to be do de a dog. Do de a dog. Oh, it's nasal. Nasal? Do de a dog. Oh, they ain't. They, they are she they are sheets. So they nasalized she e. Eh? So they ain't the. So they ain't the. So they ain't the. It's uh in when he wrote it, it had a a nasalized n on it. Ain't the. Let me uh let me play it really quick. Okay. So they ain't the. Okay. It does sound like ain. So maybe the Kiowa part is wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be a regular N. I think it's just like that one letter E. Oh. Letter okay. E. They are. A. A. Da. Yeah. So Rather than a nasal one. A. Da. A. Da. They are. Two shoes. The a da a da a da so they a da. So then, uh, if that's correct, then the Kiowa slide here is not correct. Yes, yeah, take that nasal off of there. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me do that. Uh, nasal. right here. So there. So they a da or so they a da. Well, all those other ones have a nasal on it too. Huh. Huh. <laughs> uh, grandma, <laughs> which is accurate. <laughs> See, now I'm getting confused. They are two shoes. How would you say that in Kyle? Oh, no, no, no. Say it again. Hey. A, so the A, 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 with the name. So the name is always. Okay, I'll put it back. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's have um. So, Grandma D, do you want to say it one more time so we can, and then we'll have Grandma Martha. I'll just say it right. <laughs> I'm all confused now. So the so. <laughs> Uh -oh. but my, you got the you got the little squiggly line on top of the end, which makes it silent, right? No, it doesn't make it silent. It makes it nasal. Makes it's it nasal sound. So what does it put it when you put a little squiggly on oh. top of an end, like bone? Oh. It, yeah. So is that like B O uh, H N, and then yeah. a little squiggly line on the top of the end? Right. Oh. So isn't oh. that like silent? Uh, no. Not really. You still hear like an end sound, but and, and not the whole end. Okay, so yeah, I okay. Your and, notes. And, but Is my that... notes here have e with the apostrophe above the e, and then nothing above the end. So I don't know. Oh, mm. it's like the air goes ah. through your nose for sure, and then if you has an n, you're gonna have your tongue hit hit that. Top of your oh, I like that explanation, Aunt Carolyn. <laughs> um, so in this case, it is a nasal N is what it sounds like. So we'll just have to pay attention to that. Um, okay, let me go back. So, uh, Grandma Martha. Do the A dog. Do they ain't dog. Aho. Okay. Uncle. Uh, do they ain't dog. 
throw that end off. Throw that end off. I was watching the out on the baseball game. <laughs> throw that end. Throw that end off. Throw that end off. No, throw that end off. Okay. Oh, um, let's see who's after. Oh, uh, Chelsea, are you back? Okay. Um, and Carlo? Throw that end doll. Throw that end doll. Oh, uh, aho. Uh Awesome. Well, we made it through a whole uh, whole row this time, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let me stop sharing. So, we'll just keep 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 going through until we get through all of them, um, and then we'll go to the next. Uh, you know the the three items. So we're working through our plural items. <laughs> so. All right. Well, we made it. Uh, let's see. Uh, to close us out tonight, um, if you're able to. Melody. Hande. Me? Uh, before oh. she has her, her prayer, uh, I have something to play for you. Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow is D Day, 80 years ago. And uh, I was 15 years old. I remember that day very well. And uh, they were harvesting my father's wheat. And um, we only had a bad, no one had electricity. They, they, the electricity, they were just the battery. We saved it for the news because, and this was a big thing. And I remember that very well. And then later, the, my sister Lizzie Oppeton was a president, and so later, not that day, but I think the next day, the war mothers gathered and they prayed. And so I want to play uh, uh, songs. Of, I think I played this before, I, the war mm -hmm. mother song, but it's a day that uh, I'm, a, I'm a World War II history buff, especially Europe. And Right now, it saddens me that they those boys gave up their lives, all young guys, so that, and they say democracy, you know, but Indians, we didn't need that. We had that. And so we don't brag about democracy because uh, when they came, that was, the, anyway, getting back to uh, uh, this, uh, day is very important to me it's 80 years ago and i believe the comanches are there because you know they play a big part and they're co-talkers there and so as a native as native americans were were we go beyond being pa patriotic because this is this is our land and I, I was thinking when all they were fighting there all the time when they invaded Europe. And here in this country, life went on almost normally. Like uh, you'll see uh, movies that, that were made in what, 40s, 45, 43. And so that tells you that they went on with their lives here, making movies and going to the movies and all the time. Uh, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we were fortunate that there was no war. We had no idea what war was going on in, on this, in this country. And so I think about it a lot, the older I get. And, uh, and so I think that this is a very stressful time for our country. And so I know most of you both, what I'm trying to say is, then I saw an article today about a hundred years ago was when the Native Americans were given the right to vote. No. A lot of people don't vote Native Americans and, and that's very sad. No. That's of course. 
And so even in our tribe, I know as a Kiowa elder, I've been to KIC meetings when you're doing good to have 40 people. So Kiowas were very apathetic when it comes to to being, uh, being a citizen of, of our tribe even. So uh, we, and so I'm, I, I played this at the War Mother's anniversary, I think it was two years ago. And there's just a part, this is, it's a, I'm not a technician. So there's one other song that I wanted to play, but I want to play these songs if you don't mind. So I'm not a good technician, so hopefully I'll get it done. Hey, so. Ha, I hope. Down, down, ho. Can you hear it? Huh. Yes.
this uh, day because I was there. I, I was a teenager. I was 15 years old. And <clears throat> when the invasion was going on. And these songs were composed by my father. Most of those women were, uh, they wore their Kiowa dress. And they, were, and they preferred Kiowa uh, to English and then speak English. And, and so I think about these songs. Later on, he tells how he made them, but I didn't play that. But I know myself that they didn't speak, and they and they were uh, mm. very faithful to this organization. It's not a Indian organization; it's a it's a national mm, uh, non Indian organization. But the but they joined because they uh, because they were Native Americans. They understood the concept of um, American war mothers. So they they joined, and uh, I think of them often, and uh, mm -hmm. and so now we're we're um, many many generations away from them, and so I'm just thankful that these songs were made for them, these women, these Kiowa women, and he says so later on in the recording, and now it's not that way. They're they're they play songs and then there are about 20, over 21 songs. And uh, I think if I go to a power where they're playing them or uh, singing them, there's not that many of them. You, at the most, you'll only hear four of the original, but that's okay. I'm not saying the others aren't warm other songs. I'm just saying that my father composed these songs for these women. And they they understood what every word and and it spoke to them, and I think about that. And now they and then after World War One Two, then Korea came along, and at that's a time when all the power was around home in Oklahoma. I guess they became powwow crazy, <laughs> I'll say. And then they they went and. And so that's how these songs left the Kiowa area. They were sung at other places, but originally they were sang for these dear ladies that uh, it spoke to them and they were consoled by them. And of course I've heard some of them speak. So I just want to take this opportunity to, to commemorate this uh, solemn day to me. Oh. And so we're right there again. We're right there. We're, uh, there's war in Israel. There's war in Europe. And so that's, I guess, that's a lot. <clears throat> but anyway, this time, uh, <clears throat> he, uh, my song, my father loved to sing, and so did my mother and her, her whole family. They all, all sang. And so uh, it's a blessing to be able to to have technology so that we can hear hear them sing, and so I'm grateful for that. And so leading up to you younger people, I'm very grateful to you for striving to learn our language. I sit here and I think uh, you get me all mixed up. Sometime when you're struggling, and I get all, I have to learn and have to think, think because I'm listening to you, and then I know what it sounds like, and so I, I just commend you all of you, and I can, I think you now to know that that means that much to you, and and I'm grateful that my children, even Kenny, have grew up hearing their grandparents sing. And their grandmother sang them lullabies to sleep. And so I'm grateful that they grew up in a home able to hear their grand, both their grandparents sing. And of course, Kiowas are very musical people. We're very, uh, we have a song for everything. We love to sing. And so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And 
once again, I'll say that I'm grateful for all of you who participate. And aho, obaho. Down, down, ho. Oh, oh uh -huh. likewise, we, we're honored to have you help us figure this out and be patient with us. And we appreciate you as well. The, uh -huh. the memorial song, the last song that he sang, the memorial song was, was made to honor uh, William Palmer. Lindra Palmer, the first cow that was killed. The war mothers had a beautiful uh, dance for that time. And uh, and so that's when that song was sung for in honor of Lindra Palmer, the first cow who was killed in World War II. Mm -hmm. And they had a beautiful yeah. ceremony. Over her. Oh, Aho, oh, Grandma. I love hearing those songs and really appreciate all of all of your wisdom and sharing with us. So um, definitely appreciate your time and your willingness to share with us so that we can then carry it on, you know, and pass it pass it down to our kids. So they'll remember. <clears throat> uh -huh. Well, we appreciate that. That's very, um, very awesome to be able to hear those, hear those uh, old recordings and to hear um, our songs. All right. Any other comments or questions? Melody. Monday. Um, I just want to express myself a little bit if I could. Paul. You know, I wanna um I really want to thank Doc E, you know, for um uh, for our elders, for all those that um had a how would you say it, a uh, a piece of um uh, our language, you know, that we hold on dearly. And um like I said, just really, really, really thoughtful, really thankful for our koi, koi, gu, our koi ke konba, that, you know, our language is, 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 is still, still here today, still here today as, as, a, as a people. And, uh, you know, from, from, from me, you know, to our elders, you know, my, my, my aunts there, that, um, they're, they're, they're being patient with this. And, you know, I just want to, um, show my, um, support you know to them that um you know growing up i miss my grandparents you know that's how, how how i recall hearing a lot of um hymns church hymns church services and um today just to, to recollect you know just these different types of just hearing y'all talk and, and the engagement of um you know learning our our our, our concepts you know because it's 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 it, i can tell that it's advancing so you know, I'm glad that I got to, you know, get just a little part, but this little part goes a long ways. So typically on 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 Wednesdays and Sundays, I I, I go to church, but I got through. I I I say, hey, I'm just going to, you know, chime in. So I'm glad that I did. It's a blessing to uh, hear y'all speak and talk, and uh, I'll be reaching out to y'all, you know, for for different resources, uh, that um different types of studies that I'm doing individually, you know, on my own that I'm, that, that I'm collecting for like uh, just the recordings that um, Aunt D had just shared tonight, you know, our, uh, how is it, our Togu dog, you know, those songs, they'll have their own collection of songs and series, you know, as just well explained. So, you know, tonight is, I'm just glad that I got to, you know, step in, um, been really busy on the, um, on my coaching in, uh, man, it's just go, go, go. And, it's going to be like that till after the 4th of July. So, but, you know, um, angle ain't day. I know donkey will make a way and I'll be in contact with y'all. So, you know, y'all just, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week. I just want to just, you know, sh um, share a little thought with y'all. I hope. Oh, I hope.
And you're welcome to join us anytime you can. We post the recordings online and uh, we're always here to answer any questions however we can. So you're always welcome. Oh. Awesome. Well, I'm glad everyone uh, could join and uh, um, it's, uh, oh, I guess it's dinner time. So, all right, well, we better head out. Um, so, um, I'm sorry I interrupted her. <laughs> it's okay. I, I think those songs were beautiful and a perfect way to close us out. So that's awesome. Oh. I appreciate it. Aho, Grandma. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a good evening. Oh. Hey, God. I'm Oh,